Hello, my name is Tony and even though I've been into polygonal modeling since many years, I've just started to learn rhinoceros and nerves in general. And I'm learning while watching the excellent videos of, I think his name is Sky Greenwald, in his YouTube channel 36 Verts. I've been struggling with one of his videos where he advises not to match two mirrored surfaces by curvature continuity but by tangency instead. What he and Mark Lansat agree with is kind of tangency plus tangency equals curvature zero. That's why two mirrored surfaces tangencies sum up one curvature continuity. I understood it, but what got my attention is the fact that you not only have no need to match them by curvature, but you cannot do it. I needed to understand the reasons because to me it had no sense. Let's deep dive into this. I have made this surface and I've made it so its top end is tangent with the horizontal plane, let's say the floor. Then I mirror it along the y-axis and watch their control points and curvature graph. As the Sky Green Wall taught us on a previous video, we can assure that there is tangency continuity between these two curves because 1. The two first vertices or control points of both curves are aligned with each other. 2. In the curvature graphic, we can see that at the very matching point, their curvature lines are perfectly parallel with each other. Let's break this tangency continuity. If we break it on the curvature graph, this is what a non-tangency continuity looks like. Now, regarding curvature continuity, we can assure that there is curvature continuity between these two curves because 1. The disposition of the three first vertices or control points on both curves are a perfect mirror one of the other. 2. In the curvature graphic, we can see that at the very matching point, both curvature lines have exactly the same length. If we modify the curvature of one of them, this is what a non-curvature continuity looks like on the curvature graph. So that, what's the correct answer? Have the two mirrored surfaces got curvature continuity because of the tangency plus tangency thing or because the symmetry of the three first control points? First of all, it seems clear that what both Sky and Mark meant is not curvature zero, but zero degrees of curvature discrepancy. Anyways, according to Rhinoceros 7, the right answer is the second one. And it's here where Rhinoceros starts to behave very weird. Fortunately, I always have my psychiatrists nearby. Hi. Hello, Pandit. My name is Dr. Spatzo. I am here to help you. Say whatever is in your mind freely. Our conversation will be kept in strict confidence. Memory contents will be wiped off after you leave. So, tell me about your problems. Good. Then, let me prove what I said before. If we start the edge continuity analysis, we can see that these two mirrored surfaces have both tangency and curvature continuity at their matching point. Now, let's move their tangency and curvature controls but in some way that they are kept symmetrical. Wow! Rhinoceros says that even though they are not tangent anymore, there still exists a curvature continuity between them. So, curvature continuity without tangency, what do you think, Dr. Spitzer? 
and it, I need more computing power to answer your question. Okay, then let's undo it and retake the main topic of Sky Greenawalt's video. We have these two mirrored surfaces which have both tangency and curvature continuity. So, if we match them by curvature, nothing should change because they are already curvature continuous. But by doing so, Rhinoceros destroys the current curvature continuity and the surface gets spoiled. On the other hand, if we undo it and match them only by tangency, nothing changes, and the curvature and shape of the surface keep intact. Isn't it crazy? Ha <laughs> crazy tanda crazy banana nanana. Oh, I'm... There must be something wrong with this surface, or perhaps something is wrong with the mirroring process. So let's start from zero. We are going to use two perfect arcs and make no mirroring at all. I will change them to B G5, and because they are two perfect 90 degree arcs, both curvatures must be perfect. After extruding them, we have now two extrusions, and exploding them into real surfaces. Your English is very bad, Tandy. Yeah, I know. Next, let's check that their normals are all pointing in the same direction, and try to match these two perfect arcs surfaces by curvature. It shall be a total success now. No, what? They are not mirrored surfaces. They came from two different arcs with perfect curvature continuity. But as before, they only match fine by tangency. Why? Somebody should question the programmers. Why? Wow. Why, man? Why? Tell me, bud. I didn't do it. Yes, you did, Steven. We want you to, to tell it so that way people are understand you're not a monster. Things just, you got out of control. Mm, don't know. There is something wrong with this developer. Your English is really bad. Shut up. What a bad loser. Want to quit? No. Let me try something different. I'm going to make a smart move then. Now I'll make a perfect semicircle. I'll change its degree type, extrude it, delete the line, check its normals, explode it. And then I'll split this perfect semicircle by isocurve at its very center. Now, they are two different surfaces. Let's change their colors and put them apart for a while. Because we split them, they are now trimmed surfaces, but they remember their original shape. In order to match them, I'm going to convert the blue one into a whole surface first by using the ring trim surface command. Then I'll put them together and match these two former halves of a perfect semicircle, by curvature of course. This was really a bold move. Oops. It can be. It's impossible. Let's question another developer. I think they are hiding something. You guys can hold on to the goods. I really don't give a So, we can do this the nice way and we negotiate, or we can do it the hard way and I can release my bipolar. Wow, now I understand. I see it crystal clear. We can negotiate the nice or the hard way, release my bipolar, Negotiate. We must buy the new version 7 of Rhinoceros. 
In this version, they have released a new command, refit trim, that seems to do the same as the previous one. So we can either keep going the hard way or take this nice one. Let me try it. It works, I knew it. They match by curvature now. And bipolar. Did he mean that after using this command, we can now mirror this surface and match them by curvature? First the mirroring, and next the matching. Yes, now the mirrored surface is also matched by curvature. So I believe that what he meant is that there is a bug in rhinoceros, but they have released this new bipolar command and we can either negotiate and buy it or keep doing it, it the hard way. Did you get it, Dr. Spicer? Already. Oh, goodbye, old doctor. I'll never forget you.